Hello everyone, Waddling Duck here. This video is a follow-up to my damage calculation video for Diablo 4. First I'll explain why I was wrong about local multipliers, and how to deal with fake local multipliers displayed in your character's stat sheets. And afterward, I will walk you through how to use my damage spreadsheet that I have linked in the description. If all you care about is the spreadsheet, go ahead and jump to the time shown here. In my damage video, I described local multipliers and showed several screenshots to illustrate them. I was wrong about these, and local multipliers seem to be fake regardless of what is shown in-game. The numbers on the stat sheet are sometimes different from the numbers used by the game's damage calculations. When I did my prior testing, I was unaware of three major bugs for my build, which threw off all of my data, and it was just an unlucky coincidence that my stats at that exact moment combined with those three bugs to give me numbers that perfectly fit a local multiplier equation. After finding out about those bugs and adjusting my data to account for them, I found that the crit multipliers are in fact global, and my previous video was incorrect. If you want a full description of those bugs, or otherwise care about necro crit damage, I recently posted a video going through them in detail. The takeaway, though, is that even if the user interface shows tooltips indicating a local multiplier, it is actually providing a global multiplier. I personally tested this with necromancer crit multipliers, but plenty of others have tested the Barbarian 135% core damage multiplier and found it to be global as well, despite their stat sheet showing a local core damage multiplier. Although removing local multipliers does simplify the actual math needed for damage calculations, their existence on stat sheets makes it frustrating to even know what your base stat values are. For the most part, the stat sheet will be correct, and the majority of multipliers that might show as being local are going to be small enough to make little difference in the overall equation anyways. Sadly, there is no easy way to know which stat sheet numbers are wrong, but if you do know of a particular false modifier for your build, here's the equation for how to find your base value without spending gold to unlearn the related skill. There's no need to remember this equation though, as my spreadsheet includes a tool to do the math for you. You can find a link to my spreadsheet in the description of this video. Here's what it does and what it does not do. The spreadsheet is designed to compare stat choices on gear. It will tell you how changing stats on gear will affect your net damage dealt and very quickly once you understand how to use the spreadsheet. It does not provide any comparisons between different classes or different builds or even different skills. It does not account for resource usage or generation or for defensive stats at all. It is not intended to simulate the exact damage numbers that you see on your screen. Instead, it simply shows you the percentage change to your overall damage when you change stats. To this end, I designed it with two main use cases. First, to tell you the impact of enchanting or rerolling a stat on an item, or second, to directly compare the overall damage provided by two different items for the same slot that have different stats. You won't be able to edit my sheet to input your own data unless you save a copy of my spreadsheet in Google Sheets or download it for use with another program. Once you have done that, the first step with my spreadsheet is to manually copy the numbers from your in-game character stat sheet into the current stats section of the spreadsheet. Just type in exactly what is shown in your character sheet. Only include categories relevant to your main damage ability. For example, if you are using a physical core skill, don't include stats for cold damage or basic skills. If you know that one of your stats is affected by a fake local multiplier, such as Necromancer crit damage with a sacrifice golem, or Barbarian core damage with their key passive skill, all you have to do is type the displayed value into this box along with what the multiplier is. This will give you the true value, which you can then enter back into the first section. I listed many stats here, but as this is a generic spreadsheet for all classes and builds, not every possible stat is listed. If you have additive damage stats not listed here that you want included, just add them together in the anything else field as they are all additive stats. The last thing to do with your current stats is to find any skills or legendary aspects that multiply crit damage or add flat amounts to any of these fields without actually reflecting in your character sheet. For our stat comparison purposes, we don't care about any global multipliers at all as their proportionate effect will remain constant. If you have an item that gives a 50% multiplicative increase, it will give you 50% on top of all the other stat categories, regardless of what the other stats actually are. But we do care about crit multipliers, because they need to be weighted to reflect how often you crit. The next thing to do is estimate based on your own playstyle what the uptimes will be for the conditional effects. With my own build, I only deal damage when the enemy is vulnerable, crowd controlled, and slowed, so I set each of these to 100. I also have a high burst build to one-shot enemies from 100%. So for my build, I set healthy to 100% uptime and injured to 0% uptime. For most people, you will leave healthy at 20 and injured at 35. These conditional stat uptimes will give you a lot of flexibility to incorporate your own build and playstyle into the equation and to test out different scenarios. 
I included an area so you can see what your different main damage categories look like after all multipliers and uptimes are applied. This isn't actually relevant to the use of the spreadsheet, I just thought that people would like to see where their different categories are at. With the data entry done, we now get to the interesting and useful part of the spreadsheet. Let's say I'm considering rerolling the intelligence off of this weapon. All I have to do is put that intelligence value into the stat removed column. Then I input the possible stats I might reroll it to. For your convenience, I included a short list of what the max roll of different stats can be on a few item types. In this example, I'll just go right down the list and add everything that this two-handed weapon could still roll to. As you can see, as soon as you enter a stat, it shows you the net percent change on your damage per hit if you were to reroll that stat. In this case, I would gain 19.6% damage if I rerolled the intelligence into vulnerable damage, but most other stats would cause me to lose damage. Thanks to the spreadsheet, I don't have to understand anything at all about how additive or multiplicative values interact. I'll just be given a single number telling me how that stat change affects my overall damage. For comparing whole items against each other, first clear any values in the stat removed column and then add all offensive stats from your currently equipped item into this column. You then add all offensive stats for the other item into a respective column in the gear swap section. Each of these two columns is for a different new item and compares it against the currently equipped item. This example also shows the limitation of my spreadsheet. It does not incorporate niche class or build specific interactions, such as a bone necro gaining damage based on maximum resource. But the spreadsheet does tell me that the new ring would increase my damage even without the essence, and makes it a relatively simple task to do one more manual step of math to determine what the essence portion provides by itself. One important thing to note is that if you are comparing gear that is not a weapon, you cannot zero out the weapon damage and weapon speed fields here. Leave them with the same values as entered in the current stat section. For weapon comparisons, I give you two different percent values. The DPS change incorporates attack speed, while the hit change is damage per hit, ignoring attack speed. The only time that these numbers are different from each other should be if you are changing weapon speed or attack speed, but I include both here as a few builds do care about damage per hit. There is a lot of math running in the background for the spreadsheet, and it is of course possible that I got something wrong somewhere. If anyone does notice something that seems wrong or weird, please let me know in the video comments. I am personally using this spreadsheet for my own gear analysis, so I will be keeping it updated if any errors or new developments regarding damage calculations are found. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe.